Hi YouTube, my name is Lars and welcome back to the fifth video of my bulldozer build. Now today we're going to assemble the whole dozer and have a working RC. So let's just jump into it. Our first task today uh, will be to install all the electronics and make sure they work. I'm about to bind up the receiver to the transmitter. One thing to take note of here is I have removed the red wire coming from the ESCs into the receiver. I've removed the wire on four ESCs out of five. I just want one ESC to power the receiver. If I have more ESCs than one powering the receiver, you might fry it. I've done it before, so don't do it. Just remove the wire if you're running multiple ESCs. Just remove the red wire on all except one. You can see that the receiver is now in bind mode. By the way, it's flashing. Um, so we're going to bind this up now. You have to press and hold this until it unlocks. Then you go to System and RX Bind. Bind OK. So then you just plug out the bind plug and you should be ready to go. So now that we know that our track motors are working, uh, we're going to install the actuators. install the ripper activator uh, it goes in here there's a threaded rod here uh, that we installed in the first episode I don't think you remember but we're going to loosen this uh Check if they work. All good. Now let's check the ripper. Uh, now in order to do that uh, I have it on channel 5 so I have to set up uh, the oaks channel. As you can see it says none, uh, you have to select which button you want. Now I want to use this one, so this will be the, it, you can see, VRA. Then we press VR and VRA. Now it should work. Okay, the electronics are all good. Now we can start mixing. I want D 
these two actuators to both work when I press down and up. And then I want them to tilt the blade when I press to the sides, right? So that means we have to start mixing. Then we go to function in, in the menu and we hit mix. Now, as these are channels one and two on my receiver, I want to mix one and two. So here we have the mixing options. This is mix number one. You press on and here you can see the master is channel one. That means when you use channel one, channel two also engages, right? Since the slave is channel two. We want this to be positive and this to be positive. As you can see, we've got the tilting function working now. When I press to the sides, they go each their way. Perfect. See? Now they are okay. Now we have to mix the track motors. And before we start mixing, uh, I will put on the sprockets. That way it's much easier to see which way they spin. Okay, that's mixing. Uh, now everything is ready to operate. Let's get this thing assembled. I'll begin with the blade. Now that the blade is ready, uh, I'm going to install the tracks, but in order to do that, I have to take off these parts on both sides. to install the track tensioners and then we can put on the chains. track mounted. Uh, I'm going to do the other one off camera. So I'll see you soon. So that's both tracks in place. Uh, now we're going to bolt on the sprockets. Thank you. 
Now that we have uh, taken off these parts and mounted our sprockets, this is a good time to uh, mount the, the ripper link. It's much easier to access it now. The ripper has been mounted up and let's continue adding details to the hood. cabin light pods installed so now I'm going to create handrails. Uh, I have this steel wire that I use. It's easy to create smaller details with this stuff.
I gotta say, I love it. Uh, it turned out great. Before I end this video, I'm going to show you the dose of working, of course. Here's the top speed. It's not too fast, but... in all this has been a fun little series uh, the doser is completed I'm very happy with how it turned out um, I might upload more builds in the future so stay tuned and I'll see you next time